IFTTT boards use the Particle Interface Module, which works in conjunction with the IFTTT service. The IFTTT, or If This Then That service, allows you to configure your IFTTT device with a nearly endless amount of possibilities. By the use of If This Then That statements, called recipes, you can determine how the If This event of your choosing will trigger the Then That event of your choosing through the use of various web services called channels. Once you register your particle module, its channel becomes available and now can be given commands through the IFTTT website. The particle module connects to the IFTTT website through your Wi-Fi and sends or receives commands to or from the IFTTT server. You can now choose how your device acts or reacts, either by sending a command through the board's sensory input or by one of the cloud-based service channels, which sends a command to the module. So how could this device be used in a real-world scenario? Let's say, for instance, Timmy falls down a well, and let's add that this event happens a little too often, insomuch that the local fire department is taking special measures at the fire station just for this occurrence. So here are a few ways this device in the IFTTT app can be set up to work together for a solution to this problem. Solution number one. Say we install a sensor at the well connected to our IFTTT device so that when Timmy falls in, it will trigger a response and send an alert to the fire chief's phone. So on the IFTTT website, we will set up Particle to respond when the sensor is triggered as our If This event. And our Then That event will be the use of the Android Notifications channel to send an alert to the chief's smartphone. So as the sensor is triggered, Particle sends a command to the IFTTT server which through the Android Notification channel sends an alert to the phone and Timmy is saved. Solution number two. The firehouse has been equipped with an IFTTT relay device which is attached to an alarm. The IFTTT server has been configured to trigger the alarm by email. If the station receives an email containing a specific phrase such as, I fell on the well again, then the server will send a command to Particle which will trigger a relay and activate the alarm. So as Timmy sends an email to the station, IFTTT tells Particle and the alarm sounds. Solution number three. Another option for triggering the firehouse alarm would be by using the IFTTT Do Button app. Do Button installs a button on your smartphone allowing you to send commands to your particle module. You assign the function to be performed, push the button, and it sends the command to your IFTTT device. No longer does Lassie have to go get help, she can just push a button on her smartphone, alert the authorities, and save the day. Control of your IFTTT device with the particle interface is amazingly easy, and with a seemingly endless number of options, it can be configured in almost any way you can imagine, turning something simple into something very powerful.